<laughs> so I've been watching an interview with the vampire on AMC. And as you guys know, AMC owns the T.S. Madison experience. Yes. For, for those of you who don't know. Um, and uh, they tw- I tweeted yesterday, I mean, the other day, and they retweeted it and stuff like that. I think we follow each other on Twitter. I don't know. We might. We may not. I know Netflix follows me. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do. Um, <laughs> something's brewing, honey. Something's a brewing. Uh, but I love Interview with the Vampire. Um, I love the re, the re, it, it actually is so erotic and it's so, you put it up there. Put it. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Do you, do you know who that is, now? Right here. The one on the, uh, the one on the right. The black guy? Yeah. He's from where? I know the white guy. He was, a. Uh... He was one of the uh he was the head Jiraki uh soldier. Bro. That's him. That's yes. why that's little not little finger. That's uh No, that's the uh the guard that Oh was, god, his name is oh god, what is the the the, the Doth Rocky. He's the Doth Rocky's the head soldier. Oh my god, what is his name? Oh my god. Him. That's hey, that's why he's so handsome to me. <laughs> if you know his name, if anybody can remember his name, he was on uh he was on uh, Game of Thrones. He was uh oh lord. He was the uh, he was the because uh, he was castrated. I remember both of them are on, on Games of Thrones. He was on Game of Thrones too. Lestat, really? That's him. Lestat, him who's playing Lestat was also on the Game of Thrones. Remember, remember he when he was in Game. Of Th- I, mean, I gotta remember who he who he played. He's the one that they cut his dick off. Oh, okay. I do remember that scene. I do remember that scene. Yes, I do. I didn't know that was him though. Yes. Oh wow. Gray Worm. Gray Worm. Gray Worm. That was his name. Gray Worm. Yes. Yes, Gray Worm. Now, yeah, that was him. I was like, he looks so familiar. I was like, he looks so familiar. Hold on, y'all. Listen to me. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's not him? That's the, not the white guy? Okay, I'm sorry. So, is Gray Worm is the only one? Okay, I'm sorry. I could be wrong. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I love Scray Worm. No, he was badass in that show. I'm not going to front. That dude was badass. Girl. Girl. <laughs> yeah, that is Grey Worm. That is, Grey that Worm. is him. Yes, that, that is that him. That is Grey Worm. Uh, yeah, that is I'm gonna go upstairs and watch it when I. <laughs> <laughs> it's that what you stuck on right now? Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ooh. <laughs> my god! Maddie, you, 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 uh, say, Maddie, my homeboy said she better stop licking that mic. Well, I think he says licking, but licking that mic like that. Girl. Oh. Listen to me. Oh. If you have not watched the interview oh. with the vampire on AMC Plus, get AMC Plus. Use the seven-day free trial if you want to. Watch the first four episodes, girl. Is it like the original, or is it? A it is. It is a re. Story? It's reimagined. Now, as you guys know, we have watched Interview with the Vampire with Brad, yeah, Brad Pitt, Pitt right? and Tom Cruise. And if you watch it, you know that there's some homoerotic stuff going on with that with the two men. You know, you know that it's some homo shit going on, but they just never really explore on it like that. This! Ooh! Hey, be, 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 uh, shout them out! <laughs> when I tell you that if I am like... Oh, oh. I lay on that sofa. I get. I be in my emotions. Like I be emo. I I I be emotional watching that show. Like I be in. I'm gonna start live tweeting. While you're watching, I need to call them. I need to hit AMC and say, "Listen, y'all, scrape me." 
it'll be a different situation. Well, I bring the colors over there. But bitch, when I tell you that it is one of those shows that has drawn me in, and I really like the reimagining that they've done with the show because I get to actually, because Anne Rice's novel is most definitely a homoerotic. Oh, so you read it? You read the novel? Yes, I've oh, read. Okay. Yes, I've read. I've read Anne Rice's stuff. Interview with the Vampire, Queen of the Damned. That's when you, you know uh, 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 Aaliyah played Akasha. Yeah, I remember that. I do remember that. So Akasha is actually the maker of Lestat's maker. Oh, so she turned. Lestat's maker is, is his name Armand? Armand, I think it's Armand. Yeah. So is his name Armand, the one who made Lestat, is his name Ar Armand? Am I right? I haven't read it in a long time. It's been a long time. Anyway, so, bitch! When I tell, it's Armand. All right, so I know my shit. Bitch, when I tell motherfucking you, I am so enthralled into this show. Mo, I'm, don't call me on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> or Saturday. Why not? Don't call me. Not on my show on, bitch. <laughs> oh, it's you said it's Morris. Mar oh, Morris. And Morris made... Okay, hold on. Let me make sure it's right. No! Is it Armand? Hold on, I'm still looking. They still put... Morris is the movie adaptation... Is the is a movie adaptation reimagining. Let's see what else... So it's okay because I remember my, I remember one of them a cot he went and, and he went he was made by Akasha so it's Morris he was made by Akasha and Akasha he put when Akasha turned into the 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 stone figurine he put them up like he put that's like according to the movie he put them he put them in that place in there and. Lestat found it and drank from Akasha. Oh, so he drank her blood, basically. Yeah. I gotta watch. I gotta go back. I haven't read it in a long time. I read it when I was young, honey. It's a lot of things that happened in my life. A lot of fucking, a lot of sucking, a lot of alcohol. Not much drugs. <laughs> But a lot of stuff. I haven't read Queen of the Dam. I did meet meet read interview with the uh interview with the vampire. Anyway, so whatever. So I am so captivated by the rewrite, the re the reinterpretation of it. I'm so drawn in by it that oh. Oh my god, I'm in love with it actually. I am in love with the show. So it's not even a so it's a show, it's not even a movie. It's a it's series. Not, oh okay. I am in love with the show. In love with it. And I'm like, girl. Mm. Mm. It's on AMC Plus. I am so in love. With the fucking show, girl, I was like, yes. Because when I watched Interview with the Vampire, which is one of my favorite movies, I kind of felt like there was some gay shit going on between them two niggas. Yeah, I watched it before. They, they never did it. They never did it. Oh, baby, in this, they do the things. When the teeth get sank down into the throat, I'm like, oh, I could feel the teeth sinking down in me. <laughs> Succubus. The succubus. <laughs> I start. I watch that fucking show, and I start be. I'm. In, I am right. Really, I'm really sitting there like, oh my goodness, this is so. It's so good, and I like this week. I'm not gonna give away what happened this week, but I'm gonna say a part. I like when the, this week when the mother when 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 um Louis 
Le, uh, du, 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 well, I can't remember his name. I like when Louis' mother recognizes him as a vampire and she says, the devil walks at night. And she grabbed his face and she recognized him. Like I saw her. And there's just something about the Creole and, and New Orleans and the history and how they're tied to French history and stuff like that. That's just like really, it's, it's it just really turns, it really turns me on. I can't remember, was the old one, that was located in New Orleans? It was, it wasn't located in New Orleans, it was. Okay. okay. It was. But this one is just so, uh, <laughs> uh Jada Renee said Mo Titcher was kin to your folks. I believe it. <laughs> she was from an Arawak tribe of necromancers, honey. You know, I know I'm a necromancer because I know I can raise a dead dick up. A I, think, I think they raise two different types of dead though. Man. Bitch, I'm a necromancer. <laughs> I could raise a dead dick up. I would, and a, I would say more of a. I would say you 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 can say you're more of a snake charmer. That and a necromancer. <laughs> I could pull a dead dick up out the ground, bitch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said the last one was in a different time period. Yes, this one is is, is this one was in the time of nineteen ten. That's right, Johnny Jeter. A necromancer spelled N E C K. Necromancer, bitch. Necromancer, bitch. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna. That's gonna be the name up under my Instagram title. My Instagram handle with T S Madison. Necromancer. <laughs> I could raise a dead dick up off the ground, baby. Um, but I have to tell you that it is so. If you really like for people who like erotic things, it is definitely an erotic. It's an erotic series. It's very erotic. It's it very it plays off of race. They touch on things of race and how a mixed how a mixed black man maneuvered through uh, a mixed Creole black man maneuvered through New Orleans in a time, and he had money and he was he's fair skinned but still a nigger. But oh baby, when you a nigger and you a vampire at the same time, hi y'all of Oshata. I tell you, I tell you, the righteous run in and they are saved. <laughs> um, you say, is it better than True Blood? Uh, I am four episodes in. It is a different story. I love True Blood, but this right here is something for me. Now, if you are a True Blood fan, you will like this, and especially if you are a True Blood fan and you like the scenes between Eric Northman and Jason Stackhouse. Baby, let me tell you something. When that Eric Northman and Jason Stackhouse scene came on, I was... I, go back on my Facebook. It's still up there. What'd you do? I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I was screaming because I knew it. When that Australian man went lean back behind his shoulder and he stuck his tongue in, the, in that man's mouth, I was, bitch, I almost nutted. Because I knew what was going on, honey. Yee. I knew it was going on. I just knew. I was just so, I was so drawn into it. But, bitch, this one right here, ooh. And then this one from last week, I was so emotional from last week. So, so okay, this... I was so emotional from last week. Like, last week's episode, I was so emotional. So, are you... So, you, you prefer this one to the movie? I like the movie because it's the movie's adaptation of the book. But I like this because this is a... Uh, this is a series adaptation of it, and I don't want it to end. Well, I mean, I, the thing, the good thing about series is that usually. The, Wait a minute! The, hold on. What? What? Where? What? What happened? You said I love interview with the vampire, but Anne Rice's uh, Mayfair wishes is coming in January. Ooh. This marriage just gonna have to get rid of me. She just gonna have to be sick of prepare to be sick of me, okay, Miss Mary. So I'm not sure what's Anne Rice's Mayweather. Uh, 
Mayfair, Mayfair Witches. Mayfair Witches, what's that one about? Mo. Hail to the Guardians of the Watchtowers of the North. 